Brewers hosting the Red Sox, and the Red Sox are plus 158 on the money line. The Brewers are minus 190. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Bello pitched once against the Brewers last year. Four and a third, two runs, two earned. They lost that game four to one in Boston. Burns did not pitch against the Red Sox last year. Now, I just use it this way. You're going with a Cy Young Award winning pitcher, you know, two years removed versus a pitcher with an ERA of uh, 16.68. Now, head to head, the road team is six and four. The Brewers are seven and three against the Red Sox in their last 10. The favorite is five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half is six and four in their last 10. There's been two one run games in their last 10 meetings, including the game they played against each other today. The over under is five and five, and the over eight and a half runs is six and four in their last 10. The game they played today, the, Red, the Brewers won uh, five to four. The game before that, the Red Sox won five to three. Both of those games were this year. Now, the Red Sox are two and two in their last four. We've had 14 runs, 16 runs, eight runs, and nine runs. They've had four runs and a loss, 11 runs and a win, five runs and a win, four runs and a loss. Now, for the Brewers, they are three and one in their last four, and they are five and one in their last six. We've had 11 runs. Eight runs, eight runs, and nine runs. They scored six runs in a win, five runs in a win, three runs in a loss, and five runs in a win. Brewers with the money line. Brewers laying the runs. I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.